So you want to make a delicious healthy dinner, you just don't have enough time. Well, here comes my seared ahi tuna bowl. This is a delicious meal. I'm going to show you every single step, complete with rice, a really delicious and easy cucumber salad. Uh, you can do a lot of these steps in advance, and it's really only going to take a couple minutes to sear that tuna. Uh, this is a delicious, light, and healthy meal. And like I said before, it's super duper fast. Uh, check out the description box below for the full ingredient list. But enough talking, let's get cooking. If we're gonna get dinner on the table in 30 minutes, the thing that's gonna take the longest is gonna be making this rice. So we're gonna use this long grain white rice, the appropriate amount of water according to the package directions, a little bit of oil and a pinch of salt. Make sure that you're salting your rice and you're getting it on early because salting your rice is gonna give it good seasoning and we wanna let this rice steam for about 10 minutes after it's done cooking. We're gonna throw that on the stove, bring that up to a simmer and let that go for about 15 minutes. So now let's make our sauce. So the base of our sauce is gonna be some light sodium soy sauce and we're gonna throw in some rice wine vinegar along with a little sesame oil. And this not only is going to be the dressing for a cucumber salad, it's also gonna be poured on top of the fish. Very multi-purpose sauce. And here is some hoisin sauce that's gonna add a little bit of sweetness and that nice authentic Asian flavor. This stuff's great. I love keeping Asian ingredients on hand at all times. Talking about Asian ingredients, here is this oyster sauce. So oyster sauce, super duper delicious, really, really savory, and a really nice ingredient just hard to get out of the bottle. Here's another awesome Asian store ingredient. So this is that garlic chili paste. Uh, I found this just right in my supermarket. So I love to see that supermarkets are carrying ingredients that you'd only find in the Asian grocery store. This stuff's great. Nice garlicky flavor, a little sweet, little heat. And now we're talking about some sweet. We're gonna add a little maple syrup. Shout out to Brad's maple syrup. And also a pinch of salt. We wanna season a little bit of everything. Now we're gonna mix this until all of those syrupy and liquid ingredients have all come together and they're all dissolved. The consistency of this should be a little thin. We don't want a thick sauce here. We want this to run because we want this to be like a good dressing for that salad. So we're gonna put this in a little container and we're gonna throw this in the fridge while we make our cucumber salad. Welcome to the mandolin. This is a nice little cheap mandolin that I've had for years, but I really love it and it makes recipes like this so easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice off just that little tip of the cucumber and now we're just gonna run the cucumber over the thickest setting on this mandolin and making slicing really easy. Like you could do this work with a knife, but it will take forever and it won't be as consistent. You can see how quick I knocked out that cucumber and just make sure that you watch your fingertips at the end. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the rest of these cucumbers until they're all thinly sliced. Next ingredient going in there is gonna be this red onion. So we're gonna clip both ends off of it. We're gonna cut this onion in half and we're gonna take off just that outer skin until we expose like the nice layers of the onion. Once that onion's all cleaned up, we're gonna go back to the mandolin on the same setting and look how easy this slicing is. I'm really making sure that I'm not gonna get my fingertips caught in there. This thing will take a fingertip right out. Make sure you got the band-aids ready. And I like on the onions to flip them side to side to make sure that you're getting a nice even cut. And we're also gonna do the same thing with a carrot, but we're gonna use another kitchen tool. We're gonna to use our box shredder. When I use the box shredder, I wanna shred right into the bowl. I'm gonna put the edge of the box shredder right on top of the bowl to give it like a little bit of solid, and I'm gonna push it right up against my chest. And I'm gonna keep that in there and shred right into the bowl. The less things that we can dirty, the better. And when you're shredding carrots, shredded carrots can get everywhere. So we're gonna run that right to the nub, and this is all nice and clean and in the bowl. We're also gonna get the ragged ends off of these scallions or green onions, whatever you wanna call them. And once we get those cleaned up, we're gonna slice these nice and thin. We're just gonna put the greens in. We're gonna save the whites for other things like my roasted chicken recipe. I'll throw a link to that right above. So we're gonna slice these really thin and we're gonna reserve some of them for garnishing this dish. So we're gonna put about two thirds in there. We're gonna take just a little bit of them and we're gonna put those in container and uh, we're gonna let these sit aside. 
So let's use that dressing that we made before and we're gonna pour most of it in there. But again, we're gonna reserve a little bit to pour on top of the fish after we slice it. And now we're gonna give this a good mix. And once this is nice and mixed up, we're gonna add one other ingredient that I forgot to throw in. We're gonna throw in some shredded red cabbage. Shredded red cabbage is one of the things that I like to buy already pre-shredded. And you can see I'm gonna put this super exact amount of shredded red cabbage right in there. It's gonna add like a really nice crunch and it's really gonna lengthen out this salad. Look how much we got. I'm gonna be eating this thing all week. People keep telling me they want me to do a meal prep episode. This is a meal prep episode. Just make enough and you'll have leftovers to last you more than a couple of days. So once this is nice and mixed up, we're going to throw this in the fridge, let this get cool, and also let all those flavors come together. Now let's talk fish. Here I have some ahi tuna steaks. So these are vacuum sealed and flash frozen. Flash freezing gets rid of all the bacteria and it also makes it really easy to store these. I keep frozen seafood like this in the freezer at all times. So when I do want to make a quick dinner, all I got to do is pull those out, throw these in a bowl, throw some cold water on them and in about 10 minutes. They're nice and defrosted and it's this easy. And you don't have to worry about bacteria because these are flash frozen. And when you're flash freezing, it kills all the bacteria. And these are just sitting in some cold water. Once these have had a chance to thaw out after just a couple of minutes, we're going to pull those out. We're going to put them inside of a hotel pan on top of some paper towel. And we're going to use another paper towel to get the moisture on top. We're going to try to get these steaks as dry as we can. While those are chilling out, we're going to make a quick seasoning with our sesame seeds. So this is some of my patented base seasoning which is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. There's a link to the video recipe in the description and some sesame seeds. And I couldn't believe that they didn't have the tuxedo sesame seeds, which are the white and black already pre-mixed. So I had to buy both of them to make this recipe. I think the white and the black sesame seeds really make the outside of this dish pop. We're gonna add another authentic Asian flavor ingredient. This is a Chinese five spice powder and this stuff's pretty potent. So we're just gonna put just a little bit. It's gonna give the outside of these a really nice flavor. So now we're gonna mix up the seasoning and the sesame seeds all together. And now we're gonna use this to make a crust on the outside of the fish before we sear it. We're also gonna put in a spoonful or two of sugar. This is gonna really caramelize really nicely when we put this on top of the fish and then the fish goes in the super hot pan. The sugar is gonna caramelize and uh, give a nice crust and a nice sweetness. So after that fish has been sitting for a while, we're going to take that paper towel out and we're going to begin to season these, get off all the last of the moisture. So we're going to use a couple ingredients to create a binder here. And we're going to take some of that light soy sauce, a little bit of the sesame oil. You can see a lot of the same ingredients that we use inside the sauce are inside uh, the other parts of this recipe. And just a touch of olive oil too, as olive oil is a really nice cooking oil and sesame oil is just not a great cooking oil. We're putting it in there more for flavor. Now we're going to use our hand and just get a nice even coat of that binder. And with a spoon, we're going to take some of this sesame seed and spice mixture and we're going to spoon that right over the top. I'm trying to make sure that we're trying to get a nice even coat on the top of these. And then we're going to use my hand and I'm just going to pat these in so whatever sticks to the outside and we're, then we're going to use the edge and we're going to pick up any of the spices and sesame seeds that fell off to the side and we're going to get the side we're going to flip these over and we're going to do the same thing on the other side as i'm spreading them i'm trying to make sure that it's nice and even and not missing any spots you want the sesame seeds crusting the whole outside of this and there's also not a lot of application for leftovers, so we're gonna make sure we're gonna use all of it. I'm gonna pat those in, make sure the edges are all nice and covered, and now let's go to our giant cast iron pan that we got over, smoking hot over a super high heat. Uh, here we're gonna sear with some avocado oil, and this pan was as hot as possible before I put these in, and these are gonna cook for anywhere between like 30 to 45 seconds on each side. You can see the edge cook as you're watching it, so as soon as it starts creeping up, you gotta flip these fast, and you absolutely must use a thin fish spatula to flip them, because if you don't, you're gonna use your big spatula, and it's gonna break the fish and you're not going to be able to get underneath it. 
After about 30 to 45 seconds on each side, we're gonna remove that fish and look at the beautiful crust that we got on the outside of here. We still got two more pieces to do, so we're gonna clean out the pan because these sesame seeds are gonna start to burn because this pan's so hot. So I'm just using a little paper towel to take out whatever uh, crumbs fell in there. And now we're gonna put these two in there. One thing I didn't do with the first two that I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna put them in and I'm gonna press this into the pan to make sure that it gets a nice, even connection with that pan. And same thing, super duper quick. Don't turn your back on these fish. You really don't want to overcook them. And look at that beautiful crust on the outside. Take your time flipping it too. You don't want to destroy your fish. Cooking's a two-hand sport, so if you got to get that other hand in there, that's okay. And once these are done, we're going to pull these off on the side next to their already cooked cousins. And here's a little tip for you. I love cleaning cast iron while it's super hot. So we're going to take the paper towel. We're going to clean on the outside. And now I'm going to take a super wet paper towel while this pan is really, really hot. That's going to clean up this pan super nice because steam cleans really great. And the pan's still a little hot, so we're going to put the avocado oil in there and give this a nice rub all the way around. And this pan is seasoned. Now it just needs to cool down. Now let's plate our wonderful dinner. So this rice steamed. Then I shut it off and it sat there for another 5-10 minutes. And now here comes our cucumber salad out of the refrigerator. Nice big scoop of that. I'm going to try to make this dish as pretty as possible. So we're going to take out those sesame seeds that we season the outside of the fish with. We're going to put a little sprinkle on top of that salad. Make this super nice for you. You're watching this video because you clicked on the thumbnail because that bowl looks super delicious. And so now let's slice our fish with a super sharp knife. Please let the knife do the work and try not to push your knife through your fish. If your knife's not sharp enough, it's gonna totally butcher this fish. But if your knife is sharp enough, you can just drag it very gently across the top, let the sharpness of the blade do the work. And now look at the inside of that wall to wall perfection. And those two pieces on the outside, those are the chef's snack. Mm, delicious. We're going to give this a nice spread so you can see that nice rare center all the way through. And take your time to rearrange those pieces. And then that leftover salad dressing sauce stuff's really multi-purpose. We're going to throw that right over the top. A couple spoonfuls of that. And now some of those reserved scallions for that nice pop of color and we're gonna bring this dish home. Now, how amazing does this bowl look from start to finish, from getting out the rice to this bowl right here, less than 30 minutes. As fast as I made it, I'm probably gonna eat this. Let's go for the taste test. Now this, this tuna is cooked perfectly rare. I mean, it cooked on seconds each side. Please don't overcook your, your ahi tuna. It's not very good. It's meant to be cooked like this. So let's get a little bit of everything on this one bite. A little of the rice, a little of that cucumber salad, some of that tuna. Oh. Mm. It's so light and refreshing. You know, this is a dinner that I know after I eat, I'm not gonna feel very bogged down. Mm. So good, protein, vegetables, your starch all together, all in one bowl. And it comes together in minutes. Half the stuff you could do in advance, you could make the uh, cucumber salad and the dressing in advance. All you gotta do is make some rice and sear that tuna and you saw how fast that was. This was absolutely delicious, really fast weeknight dinner. Um, if you did like a uh, fast seafood recipe, you could check out my broiled cod recipe or my lemon pepper salmon bites. These are both really fast uh, weeknight fish dinners that you can make in minutes. Uh, I'll see you there.